wanted to have a big celebration for bicyclists. We're pretty bike obsessed here in the Mission, so I felt like we needed our own festival. It started with an idea of doing a one-year anniversary party, and it just kind of grew and grew and grew and grew. So many people participated. People that are passionate about bike polo. It started off as just ridiculous. We were all like really clumsy and didn't have real polo bikes. In this city, I first saw it in 2006. The location where we play has changed to like five, six times. Don't put your foot down. It's um, one of the biggest ones. And sobriety is a form of cheating. Bike polo is in every major city in the US and Europe. Here in San Francisco, we are really trying to make uh, kind of a presence with working with the city and trying to establish ourselves a permanent court. We recently begun a beginner's night on Wednesdays. Unicycle basketball. The rules are the same as regular basketball. There are a couple of modified rules. When you catch the ball, you can only go one revolution just the way you can only go a step and a half. So, uh, and when the ball's on the ground, we actually pick it up while on the unicycle. Well, sometimes in the course of play, you come off of your unicycle, so you can't touch the ball while you're not actually on the unicycle. Then that would be considered an out, and so it turns over, you have to take the ball out and throw it in. Globally, I mean, there's maybe 15 teams. And then here in the Bay Area, it's pretty much just us. You know, we've challenged the uh, wheelchair basketball to a match also. Every two years, they have the International Unicycling Convention and World Championships. So Berkeley Revolution came in second. Berkeley actually hosted the North American Unicycle Championships, in which case the Berkeley Revolution actually won. Yeah. Track stand competition. It was really inspiring to see people come together from the neighbors on Lapage Street, residents, some of them cyclists, some of them not, um, get so excited about a new bicycle event. We're riders of folk. We're here for the uh, Mission Bicycle Festival, putting on the Bunny Hop Comp and the uh, Pedal Savvy Fashion Show. Ride as a foe, well, you know, it's many, many things, you know. It's a lifestyle, it's a brand, a retail store, and we love to put on great events. So our main event is the uh, San Francisco Bike Expo. You gotta check it out, November 6th. It's just really, really simple. It's all about the bicycle. Everybody seemed to have a really good time with the fashion show. Swerve shorts. Matching perfectly is his rickshaw bag. Greg has outlier button down shirt and pants. A tire belt by Mission Bike. And yes, it's a real tire. Her Sheila Moon dress. Her Po Campo bag. And he is wearing a Showers Pass jacket. Swerve shorts, and what he's got underneath is a Wheelman & Co. mustache tee, Mob Moda bodysuit, Sock Dream leggings, a fabric horse belt provided by Push Bike. One thing that I think made the event really special was the Papel Picado. Um, Papel Picado is a is a sort of a mission district icon. One of our customers uh, and a good friend, Bosco Hernandez, did the designs, four different unique designs uh, of this Papel Picado. They were actually hand cut in Mexico. There's a, a village in Mexico and this is sort of what they do, what they're famous for, keeping this tradition alive. And we've been stringing them up all over the place and they are uh, spectacular. We're out here helping people get their bikes fixed up, get them looking right, and so they can ride them around the city. It's a co-op that uh, basically just encourages people to come in, uh, <laughs> fix up their bikes, learn how to take care of their bikes. Um, so we got all the tools there. We're not turning anyone away. 
encourage biking in this community. It's on uh, 18th and Florida, between 18th and 9th. So it's right in the middle there. It's a big shop. You'll see it. This is my bicycle. It's a 1969. It's an Argentinian builder. Aurora had Ube's ice cream shop. Custom paint the back wheel to match the lugging style. One part at a time. I love it. The festival is to, I think, is primarily to promote the bike culture that's pretty prevalent here in the Mission. Uh, to give vendors an opportunity to show the community what they're making. Uh, Mission Bicycle Company makes a point to source all of their accessories and all the things they sell from local vendors. Instead of the slow food movement, it's sort of the slow bike movement. Just making sure that everything we're doing in the neighborhood and in the community supports the community and comes from the community. And the festival is just an extension of that. So many people came out to display the things that they make. There are a lot of people that make stuff in their homes and just really make it with love. I have a bunch of bike accessories and bike jerseys. So uh, corsets for bicycles are, are my favorite product. I'm Kachusha Mankanta, Chewy Brand. I am a cycling caps and apparel. Uh, a lot of it is recycled and repurposed material from in and around San Francisco. Some stuff's donated and some stuff just is uh, accumulated from uh, life. I've got uh, leg straps and uh, bottle openers that go under your seat. You mount it to the back of your seat and uh, you always have a bottle opener handy. It's called Works. Double toe clip straps, uh, handmade here in San Francisco. Uh, they're for your pedals by bike messengers. We're all bike messengers that work here at Plem Plemons Co. is the name of the company. We've had uh, bike messengers here in San Francisco trying them out for the past yeah, three years. And uh, <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they've, they've lasted for years on people's bikes. It's my brothers and I. We have a coffee company. We roast coffee locally and deliver it by bicycle to offices and stores in San Francisco and the East Bay. So they come in 12 ounce bags. We throw them in our backpacks and jump on our bikes and then bring them to offices or stores. You can set up an account and have us deliver a coffee to you. Uh, if you want a free taste, we can do that. Or we have a lot of stores that you can get coffee at. So depending on which neighborhood you live in, check out the website. And we probably have a local like natural foods market in your area where you can get our coffee. This is the Scully Boom SB1. Uh, it's product we launched in April, and we designed it pretty much here in San Francisco. Um, you know, we're a small startup company. Pretty much the loudest portable speaker on the market. It has a little clip on it, which is kind of nice for you know biking, especially. You can just clip it onto your pocket. Um, it has this retractable cable to it. You can hook up your iPod or any MP3 player to it. it has a four hour runtime. People like it as like an alternative to headphones because you can hear traffic when you're riding in SF. See the Jumbo Scully, 250 watt version. We'll also be taking this guy like on group rides and stuff and actually towing it behind the bike. We're here today selling some of our specialty bags. Um, we have a performance tweed bag, which we um, had the fabric build ourselves. It's made out of 100% recycled soda pop bottles. And then we also have some organic cotton bags um, for sale as well. All custom made in the dog patch. Well, they're bicycle stickers that in Japanese and kanji, they say bicycle. There's a lot of stuff to do in the city, and I would even say there's a lot of bike stuff to do in this city, so is there room for one more bike event? I guess so. Everybody came out and it was really fun. Everybody supported it, it was fantastic. I'm really grateful. Yeah, we'll do it again next year.